the time growing food to attract game and wildlife. Our friends with Union County 4-H can help you create a successful food plot for harvesting or simply observing animals on your land. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli joins us live right. this morning. She's in Ennery. How are we going to watch some deer, Christine? Good morning. Yeah. You know what? We're going to do it uh, calmly and peacefully. Uh, we're going to do it successfully because we have Mark Cathcart here with Union County 4-H in the middle of the woods uh, at a food plot. That's right. This is where you plant seeds, food grows, animals come, and you can either watch them or maybe take them for hunting and eating. That's right. Um, there's plenty of different options, but we were talking about planting. You want to take soil samples first. Take soil samples. Which we did in a yep. bag just like this. Send these soil samples into Clemson 4-H, the extension offices, the, I should To ask. the extension office, yes. Thank you, the Clemson extension offices, I should say. There's one in every county, and once you get back the fertilizer, plant everything, put the fertilizer down, you start getting some crops, but I bet they're going to be pretty popular with the animals, Mark. Yes, they are. And that's why we have these right here. These are exclusionary cages. And we build these to put them in the food plot because everything comes and eats. And so as soon as it grows, they're going to come by and eat it. You're not well, going to know it either. You're not going to know that it's growing. You'll think that halfway through the season you had a crop failure. Wow. But if you put this in there so that you can keep the deer out, keep the rabbits out, all the animals, this spot. just this little bitty spot. Just it, it can just be this big. I've got a little smaller one built right like here. That. Did you build uh, this? I did, and it's just just some scrap wire that we had around, just as long so as the good. holes are small enough to keep rabbits out. And inside the cage, it will grow without any pressure. And so halfway through the season, you'll come. Won't be anything growing hardly here. Be real low, but this may be this deep because nothing's eating it. With and that's plants. how you know that you had a successful food plot and that what you did was was right and you had the soil right and the planted uh, planted your seeds right and you know. I would have never know. thought of that. Yep, happens a lot of times. People don't put these in and then they wonder at the end of the season, well, why didn't my crop grow? Very good. And it's because of the pressure that it that it gets from the wildlife. Mark told us mow the grass, till it up nice till it and up. good, put that fertilizer on. Olivia, I'm learning how to do this really well. I think we're gonna have a full on crop harvest coming up. When does this grow? So this, these are winter crops. Winter crops. Yep. All right, Olivia, it's going to come up in the winter. Yep. I'm excited. That's right. for the Love animals. it. We, we're making plans for winter 2024, baby.